people can call you whatever you want, but it's up to you whether you believe that. And it wouldn't make sense, honestly, if you believed what other people tell you you are or tell you you can't do. Because who are they? Are they walking around in your skin all day? Are they inside your head feeling your, or thinking your thoughts and inside your heart feeling your emotions? No, they aren't. So who is anyone to tell anyone else what they can or can't do? I mean, be a realistic person, but at the same time, you know, shoot for the stars. Push yourself. Do as much as you can. And don't let anyone tell you you can't. You know, within the boundaries of, you know, harming other people or doing, you know, heinous or wrong things. I mean, of course, common consideration and morals apply. But... You know, I've, I've known my whole life that I, I've had this purpose and meaning. And I, I honestly don't know another person in my personal life that has that the kind of drive that I have. And it's at the point now where I'm trying to do these work from home things. And it's just getting me flustered because it's not exactly what I want to do. And I know you have to go through steps in life that aren't things you want to do and that's just the discipline but you know when it's I hope this program works this looks like it might work this looks like it might give me money that's just the wrong idea the wrong reason to do anything you know like the ones that I think that I've been more attracted to or noticed more or wanted to be more involved in are the ones that have people that genuinely seem like they care or want to help some cause or you as the individual but I've realized that I've put all my efforts all my un extra time because I don't have extra time I do it while I'm working and I have like three hours between work sometimes and I still try to do things when I have a day off I, I get angry at myself if I don't spend all my time trying to send out posts or you know post to groups and read some more educational stuff and watch another educational video because I need to get there now, now, now. And I've just thought to myself, you know, this weekend, you know, today is Saturday and I'll probably work until 7 or 8 at night and get back and be super tired because I start at midnight and I'll probably be super tired. But I want to shut off my brain from all the ridiculousness and and trying to find a way to get money. I mean, there's a long story behind why I've been desperate up until just the last six or seven months. And I'm, it's another word besides desperate. It's hungry. You know, I I deserve exactly what I know I deserve. And I've been working a job that's like, you know, 80 to 100 hours a week, barely making enough money to, to do anything. You know, I haven't, had enough to buy a place and have my kids move in with me or just spend more time with them, period. I, you know, when I am not working and the people I'm around, my parents, my my son, my brother, you know, I'm so distracted with other stuff. And the days that I get to see my kids, which is the best times of my life, I'm thinking in my head about what I need to do to make it somewhere or get there now. So I think this weekend what I need to do is maybe watch a movie with my parents and my son and and, and relax and enjoy just a moment without applying myself all the time, all the time. I hear all these, uh, you know, self-help things and they say, you know, every moment is something. And, you know, those moments that you spend with loved ones are very important. So, you know, that home is home, work is work theory has to apply. But when you work or are trying to work from home, it's hard to do home as home, work as work when they're in the same place or you're trying to make them the same place. But this weekend, I want to enjoy my time with my mom and dad, my time with my kids. And just life itself. <laughs>